This is the seventh video in the WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course. And today we'll be looking at total blocking time, also known as TBT, and how to improve total blocking time. What is TBT? Total blocking time is one of the lab data metrics. I've seen some people saying total blocking time is known as time to first byte, which is not true, and both are different metrics. Total blocking time measures the total time between first contentful time and time to interactive. In the main thread, if a task takes over 50 milliseconds, then it's considered blocked as the browser cannot interrupt a task in progress. Let me show you some visuals to make you understand in a better way. In this image, we see five tasks in the main thread. The first task takes 250 milliseconds. The second task takes 90 milliseconds. The third task takes 35 milliseconds. The fourth task takes 30 milliseconds. And the fifth task takes 155 milliseconds. Now let's look at another image to understand which tasks are causing total blocking time. The first task duration is 250 milliseconds, but the first 50 milliseconds won't be considered as blocking time. Hence the blocking time in the first task is 200 milliseconds. And if you notice, um, I mentioned the blocking time and not the total blocking time, which we'll discuss in a minute. The second task duration is 90 milliseconds. And if we remove the first 50 milliseconds, then the blocking time is 40 milliseconds. The third task duration is 35 milliseconds and the fourth task duration is 30 milliseconds as the task's duration is less than 50 milliseconds. There won't be any blocking time. Finally, the fifth task duration is 155 milliseconds. And if we remove the 50 milliseconds, then the blocking time is 105 milliseconds. Once we add the blocking time of all the tasks, we'll get the total blocking time. And in this case, when we add the blocking time of all three tasks, the total blocking time is 345 milliseconds. What is a good total blocking time score? Total blocking time scores that are less than 200 milliseconds are considered as good. Scores between 200 milliseconds to 600 milliseconds is considered moderate. Anything more than 600 milliseconds is considered slow. To provide a nice user experience, the total blocking time score should be less than 200 milliseconds. Before we start the video, let me share some of the most valuable resources with you. If you want to speed up your slow loading website for free, I have a couple of solutions. I'm offering WordPress Speed Optimization 101 course for free. The course contains plenty of videos that will help you speed up your website. You can join our dedicated community for free. Post your questions and I'll do my best to assist you. Finally, you can visit our website, click on audits, and in the form if you provide the required information, I will audit your website, highlight the issues that need to be fixed, and provide solutions. How to improve the total blocking time? Use a well-coded theme. Use well-coded plugins. Stay away from bloated page builders. Try not to use themes or plugins that rely on jQuery. Don't use page builders to create header, footer, and sidebars. Instead of using page builders to build a header and footer, use a well-coded theme such as Bloxy, Generate Press, or Cadence. Minify style sheets, generate critical CSS. Offload unwanted style sheets, minify JavaScript files. Offload JavaScript files that are not required. Don't combine JavaScript files or style sheets. I often see people asking to combine style sheets and JavaScript files to reduce total blocking time. It's one of the worst things to do. Combined style sheets and JavaScript files will take more time to download and process, which will increase the total blocking time. There are some exceptions, I'll discuss that in a separate video. Delay JavaScript files that aren't required for initial page rendering. Many people think delaying all the JavaScript files can improve total blocking time, but that's not how it works. For example, if your website uses JavaScript for the mobile menu, then you shouldn't delay the JavaScript file required for the mobile menu by delaying the JavaScript files required for loading the menu or above the fold content, you'll reduce the total blocking time. But at the same time, you'll be hurting the interaction to next paint metrics. In such scenarios, I say give importance to user experience, not just page speed testing tool scores and grades. Host third-party requests locally. Delay iframes and embeds. Pre-connect external requests. Host fonts locally. Use a CDN that supports full page caching. These things look too complicated, but don't worry, my friends. In the upcoming videos, I'll cover all the individual topics in detail and it will be easier for you to understand. If you think the content you have watched till now is valuable, then this short video is a must watch for you. If you want to learn how to optimize a website efficiently, the ultimate speed optimization course is for you. Speed up your website, pass core web vitals and increase your business growth. 
This course is suitable for complete beginners, intermediates, and advanced users. Here is a website that scored 16 on PageSpeed Insights and took 29.2 seconds to load. In just a few hours, the website scored a perfect 100 and loaded in just 174 milliseconds. Become a speed optimization expert and expand your portfolio. You are not just learning how to optimize websites. In the 100K Web Agency Mastery course, I'll show you how to find high paying clients, generate recurring revenue, etc. If you're wondering how much I charge for optimizing a website, the pricing starts at $500, which can go up to $30,000. I want to see you charge the same to your clients. By the end of this course, I want clients to search for you and not the other way around. The first 300 people who join the Ultimate Speed Optimization course will get a 100K Web Agency Mastery course worth $497 for free. Course links are in the video description and in the pinned comment area. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more such videos, like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel and share the video with others. Sharing the video with others will help me get more views and motivate me to create more valuable videos to help you and others. We appreciate your support and look forward to having you in our community. I'll be back with another video soon. Till then, take care. Bye.